Uh, so hello, it's uh, we're doing yet another. I just got done doing uh, another episode of the exciting world of solitaire. The fun world of solitaire, however you want to look at it. Um, I am doing another one because it's fun. I like doing it. So all right, the king will play. <clears throat> this time. I think I'll do a little selfless uh, promotion. Or is it selfish completely? I don't know. But anyways, a little shameless. I think that's what I was looking for, shameless. Shameless self-promotion, of course, I can't do that. Um, so it is, I guess, January 25th as I'm recording this. Um, I don't know when this one will go up because I have another one I'll put up first, which I literally just finished recording. Um, you know, the five will play. Um, <clears throat> but that one will. But it didn't do anything. Um, so I wanted to talk about the fact that um, I have music projects, and that's what I do mostly, you know, outside of my actual job. Um go anywhere no. no all right so music is is the main thing that i do um especially here on youtube and um so i i, I feel like i need to uh, promote a few things that i've done um last summer i recorded an album in my garage a punk rock album that I'm, I don't know, in a way, in a way, I'm really proud of it, and in another way, I kind of dislike it immensely. <laughs> uh, I ended up having to do all the vocals, well, most of the vocals, and it's just not something I'm comfortable doing. So, I guess that's my main reason for not liking it. I like a lot of the music. I think some of it could have been done better, but overall, I'm okay with it. Um, it's uh, under the name Hospital Bombers, which I got from the Mountain Goat song. Um, uh, the, uh, the best ever death metal band out of Denton. And because uh, there's a line in that song, this is uh, after something about after weeks of debate. And then never. Best ever death metal band out of Denton. Never settled on the name. The top three contenders after weeks of debate were Satan's Fingers and the Hospital Bomb. No, the Hospital. Uh, it's. Uh, I'm screwing up how it's how it went. Never settled on a name, but after week after weeks of debate, top three contenders were Satan's Fingers. The Killers and the Hospital Bombers. I'm like, well, The Killers has already been taken, and I'm not going to name the band Satan's Fingers. That's just kind of a dumb name. So, what did I do? I said, well, self, Hospital Bombers. And it, it, I mean, it's a punk rock album. It's not uh, setting any new, you know, territory or anything. Um, I, I did have somebody tell me uh, yesterday that they thought it was really original, which I'm like, have you listened to it? <laughs> it's not original. <laughs> it's very contrived. It's, you know, just it's a goofy little punk rock album. Um, well, that helped. more than I expected right there okay um but yeah so I, I named it uh, the hospital bombers because I like that and um, so the album is called ignorant which was like the very last thing I came up with like I had all the and it's weird because I wrote all the lyrics first and then um, except for the song finger me which uh, my friend James he, uh, he came up with the words for that and um, like it did the words and music the same day in my garage. 
And that's the only collaborative song that I can think of. Um, everything else was uh, pretty much done by me. Seven. What is that? I'm an idiot sometimes. Yay, King. Um, I need a red eight. Red eight would help me a whole lot. But I don't have one. You know what I do have? That. Um. All right. So I can start moving stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, hospital bombers is, uh, it's, it's a thing I did and, um, king, queen, eight, nice. Um, well, I guess I can move you, can't I? So the other things that I've done are under, uh, and Hospital Bombers is meant to be a side project. It's just a thing I did for fun. I am going to do another album this summer because it was fun. I like doing it. I, I do have uh, one song completely finished, like musically. I think I have another song that I've come up with as well, but I don't have names for any of them. Actually, well, I do have names for one, and I only have a chorus done uh, lyrically. But um, And that one's called uh, Get Out. But that one's slow in the writing because you know, it's January. And I don't intend to even record that until summertime. So and I'm sorry you're just sitting here looking at a screen at this point while I talk, but it's all right. Um, as you can see, it's uh, almost 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm at work, so... <laughs> exciting world of security um no but um my main uh gig is uh what i call october and i don't want to call it a band because you know it's just me um i should mention that the hospital bomber album was recorded completely on the garage band app on my ipod seriously um and you know Sound quality is not always the best, and it's a little inconsistent, which I can say for everything that I've put out so far. It's just been really inconsistent, except um, as far as sound quality. Anyways, I did this thing where I, I did all these songs because um, on GarageBand that has these uh, these loops, right? Like drum loops and all this other stuff. And, and so I made I I started writing these things about. Um, these short little thingies about um, um, what would happen if there was a, excuse me, I burped, um, an extinction level uh, big rock heading towards the earth and it was, it's going to hit, it's going to hit square and we're all going to die. And uh, so I wrote all, a bunch of these little short thingies about individual people's experience with the rock hitting. And so I, the idea was originally just to make a, a couple of songs that go along with that idea. And I ended up, it's a 20 song freaking album <laughs> and it's all up on YouTube, all those songs. Um, and uh, it's called the end of the world and it's all uh, electronic based stuff. So it's very clear and it doesn't sound like something i recorded in a garage but i didn't record those in a garage it's you know that's the nice thing about that is that you just you know drop and you know do whatever and i put effects on things and stuff like that and made them sound interesting and like my favorite songs on that are like the second half of the album the first half of it i just didn't quite have the um the vision and then the second half, not exactly at the halfway point, but like the, really the last third of that album to me is the best because I started making songs that sounded like film score to me. 
and those are the more those are infinitely more interesting than anything else on that album but under the october banner which that is also under the october banner but i did record two other things and um in i think october the month of october i started writing a i got the idea for a black metal ep and so i um let's just play another game while i'm talking sorry um so i recorded i started recording that and it's pretty solid i think um i didn't finish it until late december because i just kind of put it down for a while and i was like i don't really know what to do with this so i you know i stopped and then um i recorded this kind of semi acoustic thing that i think is really interesting um the idea is um if you've ever heard the song sometimes by my bloody valentine it's kind of like that only reversed like in that song the distorted guitar parts are really like the focal point and like the acoustic stuff is way in the back and i kind of did it the opposite way of that where i put the acoustic parts like way up front and put the the distorted part way in the back so it sounds like this like wash in the back which i think is interesting and um so that's that's uh, what that is, and that's a full album, and it's all that's all instrumental. Uh, that and the black metal EP, that's all instrumental. Yeah, October doesn't have any vocals. Um, so um, yeah, so there's that. Uh, the uh, the acoustic thing is called Blacklight, and those two are on SoundCloud as well as the Hospital Bombers album. It's on SoundCloud. Um, the next thing I do, I think, is going to be a little different, but my iPod is broke. Alas, so what I'm going to do is when I get my tax money. I'm going to get myself a new iPod, like brand new. And then, um, um, so, and when I do that, then I can get back to recording. And, uh, shucks. There we go. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm looking forward to get back, getting back into that, but I mean, right now I'm just uh, spinning my wheels because I can't, I can't record anything because I don't have anything to record onto. I can't record my ideas because I use the uh, any ideas I would get, I would use the um, the voice memo thing on my iPod. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just kind of a, a bitch not being able to record anything. Oh, shit, I can't do anything with that. But, I mean, it is what it is, right? But, shit. So, yeah, um, yeah, we may have hit, let's see what's going on here. That certainly will not play anything, but, no, I can't even do that. Damn it all to hell. Um, I may have to get a little creative. <clears throat> There's that. Okay. That certainly helps. Um, I don't have any, any hearts. Which means that two is in here somewhere. But I guess I can do the rest. Maybe. Where's the five? It's right there. What about the six? That's right there. What about the seven? Seven. If 
you know you're Sonic Youth. You get that joke. Um, it's not even really a joke. That's my belly. I don't know if that picked up on audio. But my belly totally just uh, it said something. I don't think I'm going to win this one. Because the seven I need here is in here somewhere. And the four of let's see. Yeah. Um, let me see what this is doing hence. I don't see how that's gonna help any. Actually it's gonna be that. Okay. Okay. But you, you don't do anything. That doesn't doesn't do anything. That won't do anything. Yeah, I think we're stuck. All right, so that's it. Um, all that can be found on uh, on SoundCloud and uh, the end of the world can be found on YouTube. So. If you feel like looking for those, then look for those because I like them. All right, bye.